All right, hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here, and I wanted to talk about top symptoms that having high estrogen can cause in your body. Um, this is not an exclusive list, by the way. Mm -hmm. There are more things, there are more things, but these are some very common things that can happen in your body when you have high estrogen. Um, you can have heavy cycles, really, really heavy cycles. And uh, the, the thing about these heavy cycles is that they're not every single month the same, but you can be like, yeah, this month it was one day was really bad. Last month it was three days that was really bad. Ooh, yeah, but it's still bad, right? And it's still maybe different than it used to be for you. That's still a heavier cycle. Also a lot of pain, a lot of pain, cramping, things like that, because estrogen helps build up that uterine lining, which means that there's more fluid, it's heavier, and it can create more inflammation in the area, which just, it kind of pisses off everything around it. So you're going to have pain and it doesn't necessarily just have to be in your lower abdomen. It absolutely can be in your lower abdomen, <laughs> but super fun, super fun. It can also be in your low back. It can also travel to your hips, to your legs. Things where you're like, oh, I just feel like I got hit by a truck. Why do I feel so awful? Hi, estrogen. That's why. Mm, so great. So yeah, definitely painful. Your cycles can be longer. You might be like, well, you know, I used to have cycles that were like three or four days, and now they're like five or six or seven days. I mean, they're lighter though, so it's probably okay. It's lighter. Once I get to day five, it's like much lighter. That's still a problem. That they're that heavy right you can have clots lots of clots <laughs> yes uh, this is also and I talked about inflammation already but an increase in inflammation all over your system Whew. yes an increase in inflammation everywhere not just your abdomen or around your uterus right your internal organs your digestive system this can be inflammation everywhere where you feel like I feel like so puffy I feel like puffy my hands are puffy Oh, what? Oh, I just feel so achy and, oh, inflammation. High estrogen can do that. Absolutely. Uh, mood swings. You can have mood swings. And the two types of mood swings that I will talk about here with high estrogen um, are related to mm -hmm, um, estrogen processing issues. And if you're like, well, how do I know which one I have? Mm, Dutch test. That's where we do a Dutch test. This is a dried urine test to test your hormones. Not just what your levels are, but how your body's processing it. Yes. So I'm going to put a link here in the comments for you. If you have not had your Dutch test, if you have not received this, if you've not tested your own hormones, hi Amy, um, make sure you are getting your hormones tested. Make sure you understand exactly what's going on in your system versus feeling like I got to be nuts to have this go on all the time. Or it was, it was shorter this month, but last month it was longer. What the heck? Uh, it's all over the place. Let's find out what it is, especially when it comes to mood swings, because then you, you doubt yourself, right? You doubt yourself. And when we look at the different types of estrogen, I can see exactly what's happening in your system and tell you, and I, this happens all the time. This happens all the time where I'll be like, okay, what I'm seeing here with this estrogen is that your mood swings are very fast, very sudden. It's like the flip of a switch, just boom. And it's like pfft, rage, a rage machine. And all of a sudden the rage machine gets turned off and you're fine. And you're like, oh, I did not mean to get that mad about that. I feel terrible now. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, that wasn't me. That was my hormones, right? That's one type of mood swing. The other type of mood swing that you can have is sort of just feeling meh for like a week or two. And then your period happens and then you're like, oh, oh great. Yay. And then after ovulation, you're like, Mrr. clockwork, clockwork. That's a mood swing. That's a mood swing. That's something that we can look at on the Dutch. And then again, because they're different types and they're different types of processing issues with your estrogen in your body, it's a different recommendation that you have to follow. You, you can't do the same thing for all of your hormones, right? Because there's different things going on. That's why getting a Dutch test is so important. That's why looking at specifically which pathway is it that's off for you. So you target the right thing. So you're not like, well, I'm hoping this will help. I don't know. There's no more hoping. There's no more guessing. It's, oh, this is what it is exactly. Here's what you need help with. There we go. And then the last one here that I want to talk about is having weight gain and weight loss resistance. Estrogen. Estrogen, estrogen, estrogen. It can be in charge of 
gaining weight, it's going to be five to 20 pounds. <laughs> you might be thinking that's a, that's a wide range there. Yes, it is. It is because it depends on how high those estrogen levels are or how backlogged estrogen is in your system. Your fat cells will hold on to more estrogen then and will not release it which means that you will have that weight gain and weight loss resistance. And again, this can be up to 20 pounds of it, 20 pounds of weight that is stuck in your body that your system is not releasing. Where you're like, gosh, I'm, I'm trying to go to the gym. I'm trying to really work out and all these other things. Okay, but if you put on weight because of estrogen, I don't care how hard you're working out, just going to the gym isn't gonna take it off. You have to address the estrogen issue, have to. Otherwise, you're gonna run yourself in circles feeling like you're going crazy, not getting a result at all because estrogen is just hanging out, stuck in those fat cells, not moving. So you will have weight gain and weight loss resistance from that estrogen. One of the most frustrating things ever. But that's why we do Dutch test. That's why we look at your hormones, see exactly what they're doing and target it specifically for you. Now again, these changes don't happen overnight then, but you at least can see the progress along the way to understand, oh, this is what my system really does need. Here's how I can move forward with this and here's how I can make this better. So that's what I got for you guys tonight. Let me know if you have any questions on this. You can always leave a comment below. If you're not comfortable commenting, you can always send me a private message. But other resources I have for you are my books, The Female Fat Solution. This is on Amazon. Great resource for around how to eat for your hormones and cycle. And I talk more about estrogen dominance and some of these issues here as well. And then I have my book, The Female Menopause Solution. This is also on Amazon. You can still have high estrogen even if you are in menopause. This can create a lot of hot flashes, night sweats, fatigue issues, weight gain, weight loss resistance. Yay. <laughs> and then I also have my YouTube channel, which is Dr. Beth Wessie. You can subscribe to that to make sure you stay updated on all my videos coming out. My podcast, The Female Health Solution. And then my um, tinctures, also tinctures for your hormones and your cycle. One for estrogen, one for progesterone. This helps your body create and maintain the correct amount of estrogen for you. So if you're like, what do I do about this? How do I correct this? Oh my gosh, this is me. Get your hormones tested and start eating for your cycle and using tinctures for your cycle and seed cycling. That's what this will do. It will help balance this out completely in your system. So that's what I got for you guys tonight. Let me know if you need anything else or if you have any other questions, you want me to do a deep dive on something, I absolutely can. Um, if you wanna like get all nerdy and the science behind some of these things, yes, just be like, hey, do another video on the science and the fat cells, I wanna know more. Awesome, I will totally do it. <laughs> yes, otherwise, hug or rest of your night and I will see you guys later.